4% on a 10 year. It's not just the call coming from the big man, Jamie Dimon. It's the call coming from you too. How do we get to 4% on a US 10 year? The bond market is finally doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's breaking down. And when you look at the artificial support that it's enjoyed over the last nine years from quantitative ease, it's depressed yields to unrealistic levels. Now as it's exiting, you're seeing volatility. You're seeing mar markets searching for something that looks normal. Our expectation is the Fed gets to 3% by the middle of next year. The curve doesn't flatten at 3%, but because we're going through quantitative tightening and we've got a trillion in supply this yeah. year and next year, the 10-year will have to back up to absorb that. So this is really interesting. I'm going to get the thoughts about how you think the curve's going to evolve from you in just a moment. Um, to begin with you, though, Greg Davis, your thoughts on that U.S. 10-year. The time horizon for bond, I believe, is over the next 12 months to get up to 4%. What's your base case, Greg? Our base case is that, uh, you know, we think the fair value of the 10 year Treasury at this point in time is somewhere between 275 and three and a quarter. Now, I think there's going to be we think there's going to be some headwinds in the near term where you could see the 10 year Treasury go to three and a half, maybe even three and three quarter percent. But we don't see it hitting four percent. There's a number of factors that in the long term will continue to hold the 10 year Treasury down. And some of those are demographics, the fact that you have income inequality, the fact that you have technology, all these things will ultimately depress the levels of inflation that we've seen uh, in the long term. And that will help us keep a lid on where 10 year Treasuries are going to go longer term. 